transfer them all the feel straight down into your hands so any pebble will feel like an absolute rockery you know so it really does transform that feeling straight back down the rod butt so as you can see even though this rod is littered with features at around a hundred pounds you know we've not uh, we've not scrimped on anything even though it is it is only a hundred pound rod but from the bottom stainless butt cap full japanese shrink which again complements the rest of the range of rods that we've done lovely gunmetal grey reel seats up to your 3k weave and then probably the most important thing again is the one foot marker so when you're paying the braid off you know exactly how deep the features are that you're trying to find Moving on to the spod rods, there's four in the range and the same as the marker rods, they will all complement the tribal selection of rods, so whichever one you pick, your spod rod will complement your marker, which will also complement your, your three or four rods that you're choosing to fish with. There's three standard spod rods in the range, all around £100 each. The first one is a 12 foot 5, second is a 12 6, 5 and a half and the last one is a 13 foot 5 and a half. There is one special intensity, which is a 12 6 5 and a half. That's around 200 pounds, but you're paying for the 3K weave and the extra strength in the butt. Now, I think the main thing about spotting, um, is I see a lot of people doing it very, very poorly, and that's because they're not compressing the rod behind the back. And in my opinion, they've bought a rod that's either too powerful for them, or it's not powerful enough. I know that's a kind of contradiction, um, my little tip would be to try and try some or have a, have a feel about what spots you use. So don't put a massive spawn on a sort of a five pound test gear of rod that's going to buckle it because you're never going to hit the spot time after time. You're just going to overload the rod. It's about compressing that rod. So don't go for the most powerful one you can buy thinking that that will make you hit 150 yards consistently because it won't. It's about finding the right tool that's going to suit your physique, your build, your height and your casting technique. Um, but we've put a lot more thought into these, again 50mm butts to aid with the braid, 16mm tip for the shot leader knots, um, and we've tried to, to sort of cater for everybody's needs, that's why we've put four in the range, so pick one that suits you, my favourite is the intensity with the 3k weave, it's a lovely slim looking rod and it's, sort of, it's very very consistent so once you get into that rhythm you can hit the spot time and time again. We've made all the spod rods a very progressive action. And by that, I mean there's power all the way through the rod, so don't think that you're going to lose any power. What that means, though, is it's a more consistent casting action because the rod is doing more of the work for you. So you haven't got to get inconsistent casts where you're hitting 80 yards one time, then 120 the next, so you've got bait all over your swim. By having a progressive action, aids in a much more consistent casting style. But just to finish them off, 50mm butt rings for the braid, 16mm for the tip because, again, you should be using the shot leader if you're spotting. Moving on to the stalker and the floater rod section, we're just going to go through the stalkers first. Uh, you can see cosmetics wise, they're, uh, they're very complementary to the rest of the tribal rod range, so again the nice little 3k weave there. Uh, there's two rods in the range, 9 foot 2 piece 3 pound, and there's a 9 foot STC which is Shimano Travel Concept 4 piece which is also a 3 pound. Uh, they're both made with loads and loads of power in, in all sections of the rod, so they're not going to bottom out in heavy weed or snag, so you don't have to worry about not being able to get the fish in once you've actually managed to locate them and, and stalk them. The STC obviously is very car friendly, so it's a four piece, so it'll fold away and go inside your boot. Moving up from the bottom of the rod cosmetics wise, we've got the same stainless cap that's on the rest of the, the tribal range, the anti-scratch cap. Lovely smooth, full Japanese shrink. Nice gunmetal minimalistic reel seat and another nice little touch on both of the stalker rods is the little eye for, for actually hooking your, your baited rig onto so that you're not going to get caught up any brambles or bushes when, you, when you're sneaking through the undergrowth. The 
floater rods consist of two rods. Uh, the one I've got hold of here is the Intensity 12 foot 2 pound task curve. Absolutely beautiful rod. Cosmetics wise, they're going to complement any of the tribal range. Um, but what's really, really nice about these is it's a lovely soft tip, but there's plenty of power in the butt. Ideal for floater fishing at about 80 yards, anything up to 80 yards. But because of the lovely soft tip, they're going to mend the line really quickly and set the hook in anything you're likely to hook. Cosmetics wise, the difference with the intensity and the, and the 12 foot 2 pound is, is the 3k weave goes all the way up, past the spigot, to the second eye from the reel seat. Moving back down the rod, we've got the lovely stainless anti-scratch butt cap, lovely minimalistic shrink wrap, nice 3k weave reel seat, actually on the intensity, just a standard reel seat on the 12 foot 2 pound floater, and again, lovely sort of custom build feel with the etched writing and the nice little ring just to hook your rig into while you're looking for those elusive fish. We're going to talk a bit now about the AQS, which is the Aero Quiver System. Now, it's a completely new concept in carp fishing, um, and it's really set to revolutionise quite a lot of people's fishing and all the way they look at the fishing and the amount of gear that they take. What you've basically got is, um, and it says basically, it's uh, a strap with some welded D-rings. There's absolutely no way that they can come apart at the back. And what this is aimed at doing is meaning you can take as much or as little as you like. Um, there's 23 products in all, so pretty much you can strap as many rods to these D-rings as, as you like. You can take your three or four rods you fish with, your marker, your spod, your net bag, there's a bivy bag, there's pod cases, there's slings. You can even strap your mat and enclose the whole capsule inside the mat. So not only is it perfect for carp anglers, it's going to be really perfect for the specialist guys as well that want to perhaps just go for two hours down the river or if you want to go for two days or two weeks. You can really add or take off this system as much or as little as you want. I mean, ideally, I would recommend something eight or nine rods on one of these straps is fine before you may start to overload it and you're just going to become a bit unstable either on your barrow or on your back. But one thing that I do with my system is they're all single rod sleeves. So I'll have different rods for different situations, albeit distance fishing, my marker, my spar if I've got my two and three quarters for close in fishing, and they're all labelled inside my garage. So I'll just pick the couple I need or the two or three I need, strap them on, put my net bag on, strap my bivy bag to it, all enclosed in my mat, and I'm gone. Straight in the van, and I'm fishing. Okay, organised compact design. A really, really exciting range of luggage about to hit the shops. It's already won awards in Europe and it's surely going to go down a storm uh, when it arrives in the UK. Now, just opening this bag up, there's four carryalls in the, in the main sort of carp stroke purist range. They all interact, but on opening up, you can see it's almost like um, it's a tackle station within the bag. So uh, you've got lots and lots of different options here. Uh, two of these smaller pouches actually equal one large one. So if you don't want to use two large or three large and two small, you can use whatever you want really, just mix and match. And the main concept of the organised compact design is that you tailor it for your own specific fishing needs. So there's no reason why you can't take your scale pouch out of your carp carrier and put it into your purist rucksack if you want to go down the river for a couple of hours. So, you know, you don't have to use it in the way that I'm demonstrating it. All tackle boxes, certainly on the carp carryalls, will go in the front. You can close the bag up. You've got compression straps on the top to put whatever you want to put in there. You can put a buzz bar bag, bivy table, clothing, rig wallets, and then obviously down with the straps and it's all secure. The actual carrying case and the strap itself, really, really heavy duty. You're never going to break that. But there's loads and loads of different options in the range. You've got an SLR camera bag, you've got baiting pouch, you've got a bait and a glug pouch, you've got scale pouches, cooking cases, absolutely loads and loads of options for to mix and match your own fishing. One of the main problem areas and luggage and holdalls and quivers and anything 
to do with the zip is actually the zip itself. They made a substandard, they fail, they snap, they don't kind of meet up where they should, they stretch. So what we've done at Shimano, we've bought out the Dura Last zip. It's a lovely, lovely addition to all of the range of the Shimano luggage across the board and we believe it is without doubt the best zip out there. One of the main problem areas on luggage is the zips aren't made uh, to fit the actual product that they, they, they go on to. So you become, they become tight in areas like real seats or if you're really packing your bag out, you know, it's going to be too stretched, the zip will stretch. So what we've done is we've made them oversized in problematic areas like real areas or like food bags or boiler bags where you're going to be shoving a lot of gear into a tight space. We've even tested these on our freezer bags. So once you've, you're freezing bait, you've taken it right out of the freezer, everything's frozen solid and this zip will perform like it's bone dry. They're absolutely a billion bit of kit. In my opinion, that's one of the first areas that the consumer will look at when they're in the tackle shop and they're testing luggage to think, will it do the job it's supposed to do? And they always check the zips. So with the dual last zip, you can be absolutely guaranteed that this piece of kit is not going to let you down. We've done quite a lot of market research at Shimano, particularly about luggage uh, and about breakages and straps going and what people want and what people don't want. Um, the general feeling is that people are taking more and more kit these days and putting more and more weight into every single bag that they're taking, hence why a lot of the handles are breaking. So what we've done to overcome that is we've come up with power stitch. Now, um, where you can see that the handle joins this, uh, this air drying bag here, it's not just double stitched around the point of entry, it's almost triple stitched. Um, there's no way that is ever going to go on you. And just out, out of a, just a little boring fact for you, uh, one, just one of these pieces of webbing here has been tested to 59 kilos, which is 130 pounds. So one of that, just that one strap could lift up easily the world record carp that's 101 pounds as we, as we speak, and not even show any signs of snapping. So you can be guaranteed that with all Shimano luggage across the board, with power stitch, nothing is ever going to let you down. This is a concept called watertight, uh, and it's pretty self-explanatory really, but um, certainly this product here, which is a stink bag, again, it's not about the products, it's about the concept. And I think we've all had the problem in the past, so certainly of net bags and things like method bowls or keep net bags, where anything that is wet, that is put inside it, eventually leaks through the seams. Uh, and the reason why this is such a good little concept is we've actually tape seamed everything on the inside. So obviously water can't get in or get out. So it's ideal for wet nets, uh, wet keep nets, your bait, bowl, your bait bowls that are not going to leak all the old mix or the old water out all over your car. Um, this is a particular favourite of mine because this can go along with the aero quiver system so I can move or if I'm going into my car I've got a bit of a cleaning fetish so I don't want to put stuff that's going to leak all outside into my van. So stinky nets and stinky keep nets but this strap when I'm moving about I can strap this to my rods, packed away, I'm gone and I know that none of the water or the fish slime is going to all over the rest of my gear. <laughs> 